ladies and gentlemen, welcoming to Uganda for the second time, both of them for the second time, we have, <laughs> we have a queen, a doctor, she's savage, it is Miss Tiwa and her young king, Jabil. We're very happy to have you here. Welcome to Uganda, Jevale, or uh, how far? <laughs> Whichever feels more comfortable. Wow, it's it's a long journey. Um, we we're still missing luggage. Yeah. <laughs> so um, as as we speak, I don't actually have anything I'm wearing tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Well, we're gonna make it work. I'm, I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna probably reach out to some um, designers out here, and you know maybe it all works out for the best. So yeah, we're gonna do that. I like that. And I like that you always look out for women. So I know a couple of designers. I'll make some phone calls. Yes, please. Uh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Dress yes. Miss Tiwa, please. If they can make something in less than 24 hours. Ha, yes. Ugandan Taylor. <laughs> but the journey was um, long, oh, yeah. interesting, but um, I'm super, super glad I'm here. Um, yeah, like you said earlier on, the last time I was here, I was, I think I was actually close to seven months pregnant so, with this little man. So um, on the way here, when I was explaining to him, he's like, Mommy, is that why I'm always dancing so much? I'm like, yeah, because I was dancing a lot yeah. <laughs> on stage. Um, I'm here with my crew. I'm here with my team. I'm just so honored um, to Ali, Shay, everyone for just choosing me, believing in me, um, really, really humbled to be here. And I'm super excited that it's an all-female lineup. Um, I think, you know, more and more people need to have that heart to do something like this. You know, I say this all the time, anytime I'm given the opportunity, everywhere around the world, actually, the female artists are actually probably the biggest artists, when you think of people like Nicki Minaj and Rihanna and Beyonce and Adele and Tiwa, right? <laughs> They're actually bigger than their male um, colleagues, you know, so um, I think it's time for Africa to, to wake up because we have so many, so many amazing female artists whenever, and whenever I'm given this opportunity to do something like this or to headline a show, it's never just about me um, because, you know, the pressure is on me. I need to make sure that we, or we need to make sure that we sell out that place tomorrow. I need to personally make sure that I give you a show that you have never, ever seen before. And promise, I promise you, I am going to do that. Mm. I always deliver in my most humble <laughs> opinion. But I'm doing that also so that the next time when you have an Ira star or whoever else that's going to come, they're going to do even bigger than what I've done. And that's, that's my goal is that, you know, if I'm able to succeed and make this a success, the next female artist is only going to do so much better. So it's, it's more than just coming here and performing to me. I'm coming here to kill it. I'm coming here to show you guys. <laughs> that I have more hits than you probably even remember. Tomorrow is going to be a madness. I'm going to savage that stage up and I want everyone to come out because you will not be disappointed. Trust me, it's going to be, we're bringing, right? We're bringing the biggest vibe tomorrow. It's gonna to be historical, iconic. I like that. So Ugandans are famously known for going for band night. And uh, the fact that you carried your whole band yes. with you, that, that is beautiful. It says a lot about your performance culture. It says a lot about what you want to give the people. Yeah. So tell us what that journey, becoming the artist that you be, you've become. You, you literally represent us across the world. So we're looking at you. Right. <laughs> so tell us what that journey has been like. Has it been a lot of pressure? Has, been, has it been a lot of fun? What can you tell a young artist dreaming to pull off something like you do? I mean, initially I couldn't afford to do something like this, but then I got to a stage where um, I put my foot down and I said, if I'm not performing with the band, I'm not performing. Promoters hate hearing that, by the way. <laughs> um, but it's for the, it's, it, you know, it's, it's, for, it's for the fans, the people coming out. They deserve to hear me sing. They, otherwise they can just put on their, you know, 
their Apple or Spotify or whatever, and they could just listen to a playlist, but they're coming to watch me perform. It's only right for me to to perform, and I can only give them an experience when I have my my band there. Um, so yeah, it's all live performance. Um, there's about I don't know how many of us traveled, maybe 10, 15 people. Ooh, yeah, that's a lot of luggage to this. <laughs> My all in all is 10 suitcases. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, so it's, it's, it's live band. Um, I'm, I'm going to be singing my heart. Oh, we can't sure. wait. And you brought your heart with you. Yes. Um, can we say hi to Javil? Hey, man. Hi. hi. I like it. He's the opposite of me. He's really, really shy. Really? Your Instagram looks different. Uh, we us could have... 10 hours to take one picture. Uh, makes sense. So you, you talked about Apple, Spotify. Let's talk about playlists to put you in the spot a little bit. Which Ugandan musicians feature on any of your playlists? Yeah, you're here. You're in that 256. We saw Navio, didn't we, recently? Nice. Stop home. Yeah, we saw him. I need to I need to see more of the females, so that's why I'm here. I'm I'm actually gonna go to the grounds early, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna watch every single performance. Um, and I would love to to do a collaboration. So you know, I'm not one of those artists that's just gonna come on when it's you know my time to perform. I actually wanna come and watch every single female artist. And I, I heard there's female DJs as well. Yes, it's so I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna come there early and watch every single person. So I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to answer this question because I wanna see everyone perform. Okay, uh, Carol Casita is around, Lamu is here, Laika is here, Sandra Subi. There is a collab looming. Did you hear that? Stand up, please stand up. Let watch me guys. Hey. Yes, <laughs> and uh, I feel like the best part of what Tiwa said is she'll be dancing to your songs. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey. Absolutely. Y'all ready? No, I love you more. I promise. Ooh, I, you know, I know, I know. Bam, it's a motoswan. Translation, don't embarrass us. <laughs> Uh, Miss T, were you one of the most decorated musicians I am into? Uh, I can't speak for other people, but you are really decorated, and not just with accolades for your music, but Wasoma, the direct translation is, you've read. <laughs> and uh, you're now a doctor, so just be clear, how do we introduce you? Queen Dr. Savage or uh, Dr. Tiwa, Dr. Queen Savage? Help us out there. But you have one. I don't even know. Like, it's still surreal to me. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I, Talk about it a little bit. I don't know. Like, I said in my speech, you know, um, people who really follow Tiwa Savage will know that the story hasn't always been rosy um, for me. So, and that's not, it's not a bad thing because, you know, people don't want to follow people who have just great lives. It's not realistic. Because, you know, you look at your life and you look at your struggles. And, you know, if I'm coming here saying, you know, I got the first deal I wanted, I've never had anything bad, you know, my whole life has been great, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to inspire you. So, um, when I got that doctorate, you know, my dad, being a typical African parent, was saying, before I do music, I have to go to school. And he gave me five options. He said, lawyer, um, doctor, you know, accountant. He counted five, and I, I picked yeah. business and accounts, right? Mm -hmm. And um, he passed away a couple of days to the day last year. So uh, he would have been so, so proud um, of that. But I say all that to say, you know, it's amazing that a university like Kent can recognize me um, and recognize my work and just recognize just Afrobeat. Um, and just African music in general. I don't really want to narrow it to Afrobeat because African music is bigger than that. Um, but just recognize an African woman living her dream. And if that can happen to me, I say this all the time, it can happen to any one of you guys and even much more. So. And you say that a lot. So let me just put you on the spot. Give us a three point plan or program because you always say it can happen to everyone else miss tiwa we have tried <laughs> just give us three things that you've done in your career that you know for sure if somebody else did they can make it to me can i point out one one of my favorites sure you always speak up 
Tiwa Savage will always speak up. It doesn't matter whether she gets in trouble with in trouble with Beyonce or other people. Tiwa always shares her story, shares her, with her fans. She replies to messages, and for me, a person who speaks out and doesn't keep their story or their life to themselves, that's powerful. Thank you, thank you. Gets me in trouble a lot, but thank you. Um, I don't know if I have three, I think I have just one, and that's just never give up, as cliche as it may seem. I'm sure you guys are not 42, so um, I'm 42, and I'm still doing this. I started very late in my music career, so I mean, if that doesn't inspire you, I don't know what else will. If I'm 42, and I'm about to headline a show as a female artist in Uganda, again, that has to inspire you. Like, take your time. Take your time. And I look good for 42 too, so. Yeah. <laughs> Can we give it up for Tiwa not being afraid to share her age? I hope, I hope some of us Ugandans will pick up on that. The rest of us. I, I can't even hide it because all the time they call me to book my flights. If I try to hide it, all the, all the promoters will expose me by now. I'm sure my passport is flying around everywhere. But yeah, so. Just and just never give up. I don't care if you are married, if you are single parent, or you don't have kids, or you're going to school first. I don't care. The only thing I will tell you is never give up. Mm. Powerful. Never. Never stop. Thank you. I want to first of all share my condolences to you. May your father's soul rest in peace. And you're welcome to Uganda. I know this being a close date, it's a bit of a sensitive time. So you're welcome here. The last time you were here, what would you say was your favorite delicacy? I'm pretty sure they tried to introduce you to Rolex, Jui, Luombo. There's many things they could try to put put you on. So what would you say you ate that you liked? I didn't even try. I, I was literally here for less than 24 hours. Ali, Ali, bye. Right? The audacity literally had, and then I felt sick. I felt sick after my performance. I have I'm pictures. Sorry. My legs were so swollen, so I felt I felt really sick. We had to leave immediately after, so I didn't even get a chance. So maybe I will even leave her right after. There's all. Amanya gang in Zensuga Mustafa, Nkolani Ali Hira Holdings, Edando Zabantu Abaziba Tukubida, Bagi and Dola Banga, and Zay and Yin, we were a video. Atenze kubala vye kuchi kusaiti ya abu. Abayu daji stachila visenti kati ya abantu. Bata nisho kukidi zanti kwe mulimbo guliko. Hmm, chitofu. Kwa uh, okusoko kera dara, umuna Uganda yari ama nyinti ya abu boka. Aba ina enzije mfunda. Kwa wetu zetu ogira ko, mm. nga dawla vila dada nyumbe ili wano. Mm. Na inga tetulina kawuyo njewe tujiteka. Mm. Uh, Kumuno ndi guno uh, apartment season wazila wikanga zina space nene nyo nyo nyo. Mm. Na hira na buba saze uko ze sankoleni. E hey, basa zao kwe sankole no ransonga Urebi runji ne misomo jetuze o jetuze tukolachi mm. Tusome sabantu uh, Tutundia chinya e, murundi gunengeje mchikoze mu Liru ndaba mwaude mbili bibili Saate bulijotu wa etulaba Nga yibata de tanke eno Wabari kwe mtekama yi Ok e, e, Biodigester Nedi entono wakati ndaba mwase mbo tula, tula mbuda konga tukola Entone yaba ntuwa makumi yana Eno yabantu chikumi jetuzo kolo wale 